so it is that time again. We are going to be talking about, or I'm going to be talking about my favorites that I like to use on a regular basis. Um, some of this stuff right now I don't use. There's a few things I don't use right now because we are in quarantine, so I don't really see the need to use it. But on my regular days, these are my favorite things that I like to use. Um, so it's it's gonna be basically about hair, hair products, all the way to different types of makeup stuff, makeup um, products that I, I also use. Um, but for first offs, I do kind of want to put on, I kind of do want to uh, mention that the my hair extensions, these have been by far the best for me that goes really well with my hair type. It's the um, Jazz Waves, Jazz Wave um, hair extensions, uh, Remy uh, Human Hair. Um, I get them at my local beauty store. Um, I'm pretty sure you can order it online i think you can there are some um, websites out there like uh, wig wet um wig um wig and um wig product uh, websites i think they sell jazz wave if i'm not mistaken i believe they do um and they're just you know they just go really well with my hair type uh, my hair is not overly thick um, my hair is kind of like that um, on the thinner side, um, and it just it just works really well with my hair. I really do like how well it blends. I mean, I do um, I do sometimes add on more wefts or more um, hair on the extensions, um, just to make it a tad bit thicker, but not overly thick where um, sometimes I'm going to have to thin it out. And so with these, I don't really need to thin out. If anything, I might need to add a little bit more, which is okay. Um, so, yeah, so these hair extensions are like my favorite. Um, and Lynn's in the background playing and watching her uh, show. All right, so I'm going to go first into, since I'm talking about hair, I'm going to go into the hair um, stuff that, products that I like to use and tool, hot, hot tools I like to use. So the first things first, I love to use this macadamia, um, it's a moisturizer um, spray, basically. Um, it really helps. I don't know. I'm trying to. Um, I'm sorry of the sh the the lighting, of the shine. But yeah, this is what I use, and um, I really do like this. I use it. I spray it right after I wash my hair, and then throughout the week, um, I'll spray it again. Like it only you only need it three times a week. Um, so, and it just kind of keeps the moisture in with your hair. It doesn't get, uh, it helps it with the frizziness and it helps with the, um, dryness. And right now my hair does get to that, um, level. Um, so sometimes it does get dry. And here's Lynn. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. And she is, um, wearing some lip gloss that she likes to use. She calls it the Elsa lips. Um. Especially when she sees women on like a movie or on a TV show, she wants to uh, wear lipstick too. So I just put a little lip gloss on and then I put chapstick over it, which I will get to the chapstick that I like to use, especially now. All right. So the next thing I like to use that deals with my hair is my curling, curling iron. This by far has been the best one. I mean, I am still searching for a better one. Um, this is uh, Remington. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I got this. This was a um, secondhand curling iron, and it works pretty well. It's say you know it's easy, self-explanatory. There's a button, the uh, plus and minus, you know, to make it um, hotter or cooler. But this one's really go good, and this one actually um, cools down a whole lot quick. So, you know, when you're wanting it, when you're, when you're done using it, it's really, um, it, it really cools down quickly. Can you get the other stuff that you dropped? Go get the, you dropped the, or the, 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 there. And so, um, that one's really good. I really do like it. Another, um, heating tool I like to use, it's called the Nano Titanium Red. This is, you know, also 
I don't know if I got this at where I got this. I think I got this at Kmart, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Either Kmart or maybe even Ross. Um, but this is a really good one. Um, I used another one. I forgot what was that. I forgot what the brand was. Um, and, um, and it worked, but then as years go by, the, um, you know, the heating, you know, the tool itself sometimes, you know, starts to wear down. And so I got this one not too long ago. I've had this about maybe about no more than a year or so, a year or two. And this one is a really good, good, um, um, hot tool. Um, I really like this and I use this for my bangs because sometimes my bangs get frizzy. And so that one really tone helps like also to tone down the frizziness of my hair. So I use that just for my bangs. I don't really usually use it for my, I don't really straighten my hair. I normally curl it when I do use my own hair. All right. So now the next thing that I'm going to show you is, okay, yes. So this is the, it's called Soft Lips and it's in the um, flavored cherry. I like to use this especially now. Um, this is the only thing I really put on my lips as of right now. Um, you know, I don't really see a need to put lipstick on. Um, you know, especially if I do go out, I'm wearing a mask, so no one's going to see what, what, what lipstick I'm using. So, but I do like to use this because my lips do get dry ever so often. So I like to put this on, and I also like to put it on her lips. Um, it's a really good, soft, it's, you know, it's, it's a pretty good, um, um, chapstick I really like it and um, it makes it it makes your lips really feel really soft so um, so that's this one then I have my hula which is it's called the it's a benefit it's benefit and it's called hula like I just said and it's basically like a bronzer um, well that's what it is it's a bronzer and it, ha it comes with a tiny little brush and I love to use this because this one I can I normally just put it right here on the sides of my my cheekbones and then also too um, I also use this a little bit like right below here sometimes just to kind of show more definition in my in my um, chin area and I like using this one because then it kind of um, goes with my second favorite which is my it cream the bye bye redness. Now, I don't use this one either. I have not been using. These are the two things. Can I show? Can I show? These are the two things that I have not been really using for a while because, again, we're in, we're in isolation right now. So, um, so when I go to work or when I'm out and about, go shopping or doing my errands, I like to use these two. This one, I really like it because it's so lightweight. It's not heavy. Ooh, you okay? It's not heavy duty. Um, and the best part about this is that it really, like, if you have any redness, and you can kind of see some redness, like, throughout my skin area, and, um, it really does cancel out the redness, and you don't need a lot either. So if you're someone that doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup, but you want to kind of make, have that flawless look on your face, uh, this really does the trick. I really like this one, and you don't need that much. I really, I barely put anything in here on here. I use just a, um, what do I use? I use my beauty blender, and then I use my kabuki brush, and I just kind of give it like that air, because supposedly this is supposed to give you that air, airbrush look, and it really does, and it really just evens it out. So by evening out like all my redness, right, it kind of gives me one tone. So that's why, again, I like to use this to kind of give me some contrast of like coloring on my skin. So it's not like one big blanks, you know, uh, canvas on me. So I like to use this. All right. Um, there's one more and there's another face um, cream that I like to get. Get the other one, Lynn. Where's the other one? Go get it. Go, 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 go. Go get that one over there. Go, 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 go. Thank you. So, and then this is the uh, Neutrogena Hydro Bruce uh, Hydrating Foundation Stick. 
This is, I showed this to you guys before. I've been using this as you can see. Um, this is really good for my sideburn area because um, I do shave a little bit of my sideburns. So when I shave it, of course, when you shave it, you can kind of see the discolor of the lighter part and then your actual, your actual face color. So I like to use this to kind of, um, you know, to kind of even out the skin. And then I, and I still use this one. So this is the one I still use even now. Um, you know, I still use this to kind of, because I'm not using any makeup on my face. I'm just using uh, mascara and eyebrow, uh, my eyebrow pencil and um, uh, brush. And so I don't really use any other makeup besides those two things um, as of now. So this one really works well. All right. So going back to another, okay, we're going to talk about this in a little bit. Um, then we're going to go to the two things that I absolutely do use right now. So I'm using the Ardell Professional Brow Building Fiber Gel. This is, I mean, and I'm wearing it right now. Um, I am using another eyebrow pencil. However, it's not really my favorite. It's just something I have. Um, the ones that I do have that are my favorites would be the Ardell. Um, well, actually, I have that, actually. So this is the one that, and it's already gone. Um, it's the Ardell Dark, dark Brown um, Eyebrow Pencil. And it's just... You know, if, if there was some, there's barely any, so you could kind of see. Um, it looks like just like, basically like a little triangle uh, crayon. <laughs> That's what it looks like, and then a little spoolie. And so I love to use this, and I still use a spoolie just to kind of organize, just to kind of shape or brush out my unruly eyebrows that I have. But I normally use these two things, and these really work. Unfortunately, this one's already out, and where I get it, the store is not open, right? Because of isolation. So um, I have a backup eyebrow eyebrow pencil, which isn't. It's okay. Um, it's, but it. But I think when I put this on it, it makes the eyebrow even better. So this one, I really do like this. This is a really good brow. Um, and you don't. The best part of it. The best part about this is you. You, you know, you don't need a lot. So I basically, once I open it, I just kind of brush it off to the side here, whatever is excess, and then use whatever is on here on both brows, for both brows. Because you really don't need too much, because when you put too much, for sure you're gonna have to wipe some of it off, because it, it's very thick, and again, it is a fiber gel. So it's supposed to give you more brows than what, it, than what you actually have. I do have a quite amount of good brows. Um, I do shave, but this one here really helps me to um, just con you know kind of control the my brows, um, and it really just helps shape them really well too. So that's why I really like this one. Okay. Then my last makeup. Let me use this. My very last makeup um, product that I love to use, and I am, um, I I need to find where else I can buy this, um, and it's called Beauty Bakery uh, Icing Eyelash um, Black Mascara, and this is the best. I kid you not. I love this product. Um, and the reason why I love this product is that it makes my lashes, hold on Lynn, it makes my lashes like really pop out. It, you know, um, it's just, it's just really nice and I feel like just using this and eyebrow pencil and your eyebrows, you're like, you're good out the door for me. Like it feels good enough for like a good like little, you know, updo, uh, not updo, but like a good look, uh, with barely any makeup. So let me show you this, um, the brush here. And it just looks like, it just looks like that. So it has like a nice little like curvy, um, you know, um, brush. It's very nice. And it really like, it really does like take, gets all your lashes. Um, you know, um, if you want to look at how I put this on, of course, there's another video. It was like a, it's called my simple makeup tutorial. So I use this one and it really works. So if you can see, I'm wearing it now and it 
it's really, you know, I mean, it just goes really well with my lashes. I mean, my lashes are not super short, but they're not super long already. Um, they're like a, you know, a good average length, I think. Um, and, but yeah, I really like how it just kind of makes it pop. Um, you know, and it's just, you know, it has that natural look to it too. I don't like it the, I mean, even though it's pretty, like the really voluminous, like lashes that are all right up to your eyebrow. I mean, those are pretty and those, you know, the, um, the fake lashes, the falsies, I mean, it looks fine. It looks beautiful, but for me, it just looks too much for me. And so I feel like wearing this, it still gives me that. It still gives me like, oh yeah, you're wearing something, but it's, you know, it's a nice look and it's a, nas a nice natural looking lash, right? And so it's not overbearing. And that's the one thing I like about that. Um, then my very last um, favorite is my Gucci perfume and it is called Flora, uh, Flora Emerald Gar um, Gardena, Gardenia. And this, I mean, I wish, you know, you guys could smell it. Um, it's a nice, light, flowery smell, if that's, if that's how I can, uh, I think that's the best way I could try to describe it. Um, it's, it's not overbearing. Um, it's not something that, like, oh my God, you can tell someone else entered the room. It's not like that. It's very, um... It's very light, you know, and, and and what I like about it is it really stays with you for a while, for a, like practically the whole day. So I do, you know, I still wear it. I still wear it even now. Um, I just like the smell on it and it just is a nice, really good smell. Um, it's really hard to find really good perfume that kind of works well with me. Um, I'm very picky with my... Um, with my uh perfume but this is a really good one and it and i got this i think i got this in maybe january and it's already may so it's still pretty good it lasts for a long time and the 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 thing is here is you don't need to put tons on you, you know i just put it like right here here and then right here and then i'm done so like one or two sprays on each and I'm good, so that's why it's lasted me so long. Um, you know, I mean, you don't need to, you know, put it all over yourself. It's not like body spray where you kind of need to put it all over you. So it can, you know, so you know the smell's going to stay. Um, so that's the beauty of it. So anyways, um, but yeah, so those are my favorites, guys. Um, I... I mean, they're not, they're, it's not a lot, but it's enough to, I feel like, to make a video on. Um, and it's something, you know, and I really, some of the stuff I'm not using. So, um, hopefully once, you know, we get back to somewhat of a normalcy, which I don't know how that's going to happen or, or when that's going to happen. That's another video. Uh, but once we get to that normalcy, then, um, you know, I'll be able to use more of this some of these other products that I don't really use. Um, but yeah, and I just, this is my first time trying out this um, little hairdo. I might, what I, um, I wanted to kind of try out a different hairdo with the, my extensions. I didn't always want to have the same thing. Um, so, and um, so I'm thinking of maybe doing like a hair tutorial for this, maybe either later on this week and yeah so um but anyways guys that is it um i will be doing today a um i'm going to be recording also a outfit of the day today and um it's pretty much what you're kind of seeing right now it's pretty much what you're seeing um but you'll see the whole outfit later and yeah so and me and lynn are just gonna hang out for the rest of the day and Please like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye. Say bye.